This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This channel is all about the physical Earth and how it functions, how it works, its history, its landscapes, its, its forms, its how it changes, its processes, both physical, chemical, biological, over amount of time. And this video is on soil science or pedology. Now, soil is an area or a topic or a subject within earth science that isn't always talked about with any kind of enjoyment. You talk about volcanoes and earthquakes and tectonics and oceanography and earth's history and fossils and, and space and it, you get a kind of like natural excitement about these natural phenomena. You know that soil, soil is that underlining part of our world, our physical world, which underpins all the biology that we have, including us as humans, all the life, vegetation, the flora, the fauna, all the species that have come before us, vegetation, and tree species, and animal species from the ocean to the land, and how soil has played a huge role in making this planet livable, in addition to the other components like the atmosphere and water and the right chemical balances and the right temperature and the seasons and the tilt and the distance from the sun, but you have this amazing, extremely thin interface, which is soil, between the, the rock layers and the surface environment, the conditions on the surface, created by climate and location and, and, and latitude and elevation, all that good stuff, and how close you are to an ocean. And this thin layer of soil, this top layer of regolith, is single-handedly responsible for everything we know of, how to feed ourselves and how we get water from the ground or how we find and cultivate crops and plant life to grow our species into these large societies that we have today. And we built our world around fertile soil, around rivers and, and, and flat areas with fertile soil. Even around volcanoes in ancient Italy, around Vesuvius, they knew it was a volcano and it had a dangerous component to it, a dangerous aspect, but they, they, the soil around Vesuvius was so fertile that they grew all of their crops and their wines, and they lived around this, this dangerous natural disaster waiting to happen. So soil is always a topic that I want to give excitement to, some energy to, because it's so important and so diverse and such a beautiful mixture of all different areas of our planet, both the biological with the organisms, both alive and dead, looking at the mixture of the rock and the minerals, then the addition of water and roots and how we use that to cultivate crops and different types of soil, different depths of soil. And to introduce soil as a, as a, as a general term, we're going to look at what's called the master horizons in this video. So a master horizon, well first a horizon is a layer, exposed layer of soil underground. So you have your surface, wherever that may be, or whatever landscape that may be, and beneath the surface you have these layers of soil, and then you go down to a certain depth, usually between three to five feet, one and a half meters, down you generally reach solid rock, which is called the bedrock, or the R horizon. Now the horizon is a layer. In the soil. Now each of these layers have subdivisions and different different characteristics within them. So the main ones we call master horizons. And there are six in total. Now if you look at this diagram on the left hand side, you'll see up here at the top in this 3D very basic drawing is the surface. I put some little grass there or some vegetation or some shrubs, but you have this organic layer up here on the surface. It's called the surface horizon. Now, generally, you'll have some sort of um, oh, amount of O horizon, which is the organic matter, the organic material. And then you have these five, or technically four, layers or horizons beneath the surface, which is the A, the E, the B, and the C. Now, it doesn't go in order, but the E is kind of in between. Now, the E comes in a little bit later in the soil formation process or sequential process. But you have the A, B, and C, uh, A, B, and B, towards the top, the topsoil, and then you have B, which is the subsoil, and C, which is down here, it's called the substratum, and that is down towards the bedrock, and that contains a lot of the broken bits of material that come from the R horizon. 
And then beneath this, this is the top of the regolith. Beneath the R horizon comes the layers of sedimentary rock, igneous rock, and metamorphic rock down through the depth of the crust, which could be anything between 10 to 25 kilometers thick, or even thicker on the continental crust versus the oceanic crust. So you have a vertical profile, the vertical exposed unit of soil starting at the surface where we walk on. And you have these five distinct layers which go down underneath the ground to a certain depth and you'll have water and nutrients and organisms and bacteria and decomposing matter called humus. And each layer would have different characteristics and different physical and chemical characteristics, which define how we separate these layers into the A, E, B, and C. The O one's pretty obvious because that's just organic matter. And we can use this profile to establish how fertile or how healthy the soil is, how old the soil is, the soil has an increase or decrease in certain chemical elements that would either promote growth of vegetation or inhibit growth. They're looking at the amount of water and percolation rates and porosity, amount of air and water in the pore spaces. And also this would define where the soil is found. Certain locations have certain types of soil. They're called soil orders. And the soil order is a general term for various different levels of how we classify soil in the soil taxonomy classification. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.